Welcome back. We are here with Rocky finishing up this frittata. It's actually finished. Yeah, it's actually done. So start to finish, about a 20-minute process, even from rendering of the bacon, right. yep. all the way through to the finished product. So what we want to do when we get to this point is just make sure that all of our edges are clean, right? So we okay. want to make sure that they're coming off fairly clean. Sure. Now, there's a couple of ways to do this. Um, some people like to invert a frittata. So mm. you'll actually get the bottom, which is that golden brown color, yeah. on the top of your frittata okay. when it's right. on the plate. Yep. I prefer not to do that because I think the other the side looks a lot better. You put a lot of effort into the you know appearance here. So yeah, yeah. that one side. So the way I do it, the way I do it, we'll just slide it right out. There you go. If you have just enough like bacon that. fat in there, that should be no problem. Yeah, the bacon fat, obviously it's a nonstick pan, but if you have plenty of fat, um, which is why I add a little bit of butter to yeah. the bacon right. renderings as well, you've got plenty of fat, you're going to get a good non-slick coat on that. And who doesn't like bacon and butter flavor together? I mean, that's just awesome. Who wouldn't? Yeah, you're right. So then you just want to slice this literally like a pie. And that's going to go right onto our plate. Yummy. Look at Very that, nice. right? And we were talking a little bit on the Facebook Live about some other things that we can do with this. Um, this is a pretty traditional one, but you can also do anything that you like inside of a regular omelet. Okay. Put some little bacon bits right on top there. There's breakfast, guys. It cool. smells so, so good. And, and like how easy, said, right? Easy something easy. for parents. Yeah. Maybe, maybe hide the veggies a little bit better for your kids. but <laughs> Yeah, not, the parents not quite flip two it full handfuls. <laughs> yeah, and then flip it over. Yeah, you're right. right. You're right. Exactly right. Yeah. So, Rocky, how do people get in touch with you for to um, come cook for them? Yeah, go onto my Facebook page, Chef Rocky Dunham. All my social media is at Rocky Dunham um, or 1949 Catering. And also, go to my page now because we've got an event coming up next Friday, West okay. Texas Chef's Table Collaborative. Yes. Nice. We're actually doing a Winter Chef Social, 15 chefs, 20-plus courses, wow. all the drinks from Reed Beverage. It's going to be amazing. And there Very are cool. still tickets available Yeah, for we, we do still have a few tickets when I checked last night. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And we'll have all the information for that as, long, uh, as well as this recipe over at MyHighPlains.com and all the contact info for Rocky so you guys can get in touch with him, have him cater an event for you. Coming up.